We're up. We're making breakfast. I shouldn't even say we. My wife is doing it all. I'm tired. I just got up. I slept in a little bit. It's morning now. What are you doing? I'm uh, hand making biscuits. That is hand making it. You know when they always say it's handmade? Yes, this is handmade. This is handmade. Yeah. It's not really handmade, like when they say handmade. It's like uh, machines and stuff like it, but that's handmade. So, there's been a wasp that, that keep on taking our ham. He needs to Wait, stop. Ham? Um, is it a wasp? Get it off. Get it off. Get it. Ew, was it no, a wasp? No, it went down there. Oh, well. That. And then we're gonna close it up. You put it on top of the fire, and the biscuit cooks in that thing. Come out. It's stuck to the red of the paper. That's what it looks like. If we can just get it unstuck from that. Biscuits. And there's the final result. Biscuits and gravy. Yeah! 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 Ah, you look like Popeye, you're squinting. Eats your spinach. Stormtroopers are chasing us through Endor. Watch out for Ewoks. Okay, so we're at this beautiful beach. We parked up here, it's down a hill. There is an easy way down and a hard way down. And of course the kids run off, take the hard way down before we even know anything. But we found the easy way and we are gonna take the easy way. This was a two hour drive from where we were at. Actually, it's more like two and a half hours. It's a very um, overcast over here. Supposedly there's, it's like a glass beach or something. There's like glass rocks everywhere. And they shimmer and sparkle and it's supposed to be pretty amazing, but I don't see any of that because it's over there, so it's kind of hard to talk. But uh, I'm gonna go down there now and check it out more. Of course, before we can even get down to the sea level, she's already in her bathing suit, ready to go in. She's ready to go. This is called McVeigh Beach, State Beach, McVeigh State Park, something like that. It's a local spot. That's uh, Lori found it online, and that's why it was kind of off the beaten path. It was off a weird path to, uh, to even find this place. But it's it's pretty cool. It's you know all rocks. It's dark colored sand and mostly rocks and pebbles. And at low tide. So I guess it's about 3 o'clock, this all goes up and this is all exposed and it's 
really, it's really cool. But this is, uh, I dig it. I like this place a lot. We're at this pizza place, Zola's. The pizza looks good. Yeah, sure. Right? It's, yeah. Right? Looks greasy. <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy Buffett beer. Yay! Yep, we're still here. It's been like an hour at this point. We moved a little bit. And we got stopped again. We're here. Walmart. You know, I think this whole people Walmart thing is just a myth. I don't know about you, but I think it's a bunch of crap. Finally got out of the traffic. Finally get back to the TP and we're grilling hot dogs. Actually, we stopped by Walmart first. You saw that. Okay, but still, Marley. The original plan was to drive up and do a hike along the Oregon Redwoods. And then after that, we were going to go to this beach that had this like glass sand. And then drive back, have a little bit of lunch, and then in Grants Pass, maybe, you know, do some 4th of July stuff, maybe see some fireworks. The drive was two and a half hours to get to the first place, which was the Oregon Redwoods. We passed Redwoods in California. The way this drive was, you had to do this weird loop where you were in California again and then back in Oregon. But anyway, we get there and like there was a drive like a path not a path like a walking path but like a driving path to get there and it was like five miles of just like rocks and unpaved uh, road so we were just like uh-uh we're not driving five miles of that so after that we went ahead and we went to the beach and it was it was a cool beach it was a locals beach kind of like I said at that part very nice very beautiful we went to uh, lunch afterwards and then when we were driving back, there was an accident of some kind on the highway and we sat there for about an hour and a half. And that kind of sucked and very boring with three kids sitting there going, when are we going to go? And then at Grants Pass, it turns out the, the 4th of July thing, fireworks that they were going to do was canceled this year because something to do with construction or something at the fairgrounds where they do it. Wah, wah, wah. So that's why I don't have a lot of video of yesterday. There was really kind of not much to tape. Plus I was driving. I can't videotape while I'm driving. So what I'm going to do is combine yesterday with today. Today should be much more interesting. So we're off and we're heading to Crater Lake. How'd you get up there? I don't know. So that's called Wizard Island over there. There we go. Very cool. Very beautiful. 
beautiful. Were you guys expecting snow? Yeah. No. No. I was. You were. You thought you were like, yeah, there's going to be snow up here. Yeah, because you told us. I didn't know there was snow up here. And mom told us. Nobody said nothing about snow. Well, we are in the mountain high up, so it obvious. So it's obviously going to be cold, and there's obviously going to be snow. Okay. There's only one thing that you have wrong there. And we're in Oregon. Yeah, but it's cold. It's hot. It's exactly. Yeah, but it's cold in the mountains. I think it's snow. really hot. Look, I'm like I'm in like normal, like well, normal cold. stuff. I'm cold. All right, it's time to take the trolley. If we look to the south here, you can see the Klamath Lakes in their area to the all directions. They saw this as a giant mountain like Mount Rainier or Mount Hood. And imagine a mountain 5,000, 6,000 feet taller than us now. About a mile taller than us. Maybe the size of Mount Hood or Mount Shasta. We believe the original mountain here was maybe 12,000 feet tall, so maybe a, a tiny bit shorter than Mount Shasta. This area is called Discovery Point because uh, the Indians, I guess, kept this place secret from the white man when they came in, and they think the first uh, explorers who were prospecting for gold stumbled upon this place, and they think they stumbled upon this place right here. So. This guy happened relatively recently. This section out there somewhere, I think, here is called the Devil's Backbone. This is uh, Wizard Island. You can actually see really deep blue. This section is called the Phantom Ship. It's like an island. I'm not sure if I can get it. It's kind of hard to tell. All right, we're gonna check out the Crater Lake Lodge. I love going to Disney. And Disneyland has the Grand Californian and Walt Disney World has the Wilderness Lodge. And they're all based on places like this. So I want to see what a real one looks like. In we go. Yeah. It's like a really nice big bird. All right, so that was Crater Lake and the lodge back there. That was super cool. I think what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna look at some souvenirs, maybe grab a bite to eat, but then we're just gonna drive back to the teepee and call it a day. So I got two <laughs> days in this one video and uh, I'm gonna wrap up this one. So see you next time.